Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? I must tell me. I am fine, teacher. Thank you. And you? I'm doing good too. Just a little bit tired. Yeah. And disappointed of myself sometimes. That's yeah, but tomorrow we try the teacher. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I think that at, at this point in my life, whether it is Friday or Monday, mm -hmm. it's the same. There's it's just the same? well no, because Saturday I, I do I do a lot of things. I go to church and and tonight I was supposed to go to church. I'd be here, but it is what it is. For me, the environment of the Friday is different. I don't know. It's my mind. No, no, no. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It's just part of our, of our culture, actually. It is just a part of our culture now. But it's just that we live in a consumist um culture right so we have to go with the current yeah go along with the flow i guess so hey wilfredo good evening uh patrice is joining walter hey. hope you're doing all right pamela ophelia walter wendy gloria is coming too who else? Okay. You know what? I think it's your turn. You have to speak more. Um, sorry, let me mute this thing. Okay. Okay, um, let's start. So today uh, I just want you to start talking and we're gonna do that through simple questions. Hold on. Okay. Let's let's use something that many of you are not using very often, and it's very useful. How to use that verb? Use. <laughs> Remember, so you say, "I use." Okay, and and this misused. Let's see. I'm. Um, I am used to. This is simple present, okay? I am used to, I'm gonna share my screen for a minute. While we wait for the others, let's wait something on grammar that you should be using all the time. So, hold on, let me see your faces. I'm not seeing you, there we go. Okay, so if I want to talk about uh, what I'm getting, custom to, you know, like in a daily basis, my daily routines, things that I am accustomed to. So I say, I am used to, okay? 
and then you have a, a, a verb, okay? For example, I'm used to wake up. Is the verb to be is right, teacher? Ah, if you want to use the verb to be, then you will need, oh yes, yes, I'm, we're using, this yeah, this is I'm simple used? present. Let me do it again. This will be simple present, okay? Um, there's another word, no es costumbres. Hay una palabra que siempre se me olvida para esto. How to talk about, oh, it's not traditions, customs, daily routines, habits. Okay, we use this for habits, used to, used to. Now, this is very similar to Spanish. Yo estoy acostumbrado. Okay, yo soy acostumbrado. So it's the, the past participle of the verb, used, used, used. So I, I am used to wake up in the morning. Oh my God, sorry for the caps. I am used to wake up at 4 a.m. since I was five years old. Okay. What is something that you are used to? You are, uh, you usually do because it's a habit. Talking about habits, whether they're good or bad habits. And yes, you can use it in negative. It's a simple present, come on. Can you use this in third person? Yes. Ada, Patricia, are you talking? Not <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay, everybody, give me an example. Tell me about a habit that you are used to. I am used to clean my bathroom every day, teacher. Doing your bathroom or cleaning your bathroom? Cleaning. The, the, what is the right verb, teacher, in, really, uh, in arreglar la cama, to do the bed? To do, I am used to do my bed. I am used to do my bed. Morning, yeah. Every morning, to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm used to do Thank my you. bed every morning. I'm used to tidy, tidy tidy my bedroom. Okay. I am not used to. Let's use a uh, third person. Can, can somebody use third person? Let's say Dominic. Carla? Good evening, teacher. Uh, Dominic Eos. Mm, verb to oh. be. Ah. Don Dominic is used to mm -hmm. is used to do uh, hair. Sorry, his his, his dinner every night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh see, sure. It can be every single night. No, it's okay. Every 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 night. Well, uh, yeah, every single night, because he's not doing it. it. Now it is happening. Something changed in his life, and now he's getting used to do his dinner every night. Okay, prepare his dinner. Do his dinner. Yeah, that's right. Okay. okay now this is simple present. Pay attention to two things. You're using the verb to be followed by used 
to, used to, used to, used to. Okay, and then you have another verb on its bare form, on its bare form. Okay, now this is simple present. He is, he isn't used to, he is used to. Uh, my mother is used to. We are used to. Okay, me and my brothers are used to call my mother every Saturday evening because she lives in Australia. She lives in Australia. So me and my brothers are used to make a conference call to my mother. Okay. Now, mind this, used, okay. used. Teacher. Yeah. Why, why do another? Let's see, Dominic isn't, because it's negative, used mm. to do. Yes. Yeah, you need, as I said, you need the infinitive. You need the infinitive of the verb here or the verb form of the verb <clears throat> in simple present. Thank you for the observation. Okay. okay. Let's go with present continuous. Why is it important the present continuous? It's not even present continuous. Yeah, it is. Hold on. But the thing is that this is for getting used to. Okay? Notice the difference. Notice the difference. So I'm getting used to. Hold on. Yeah, I'm getting used to uh, see you. No, hold on. I'm getting used to seeing you. I'm getting used to. I'm getting used to. My dinner. It's my dinner. Mm, something else. I'm getting used to this job. Okay. She is. Getting used to live without smoking. She's getting used to live without smoking. Make make another example. Mm hmm. Now, what am I saying here? This guy is transforming this. I'm getting, when you say I'm getting, I'm getting sick. Yeah, I'm getting a sore throat. Getting, there's no specific translation, I will say, but it's like becoming that, transforming. Mm. Sorry, el chele, el chele is barking really loud on the patio and it's really annoying. Okay, so she is getting used to live without smoking. Um, it is getting, for example, when somebody is, something is getting bad, you know, um, the fruit, for example, it's getting Rooten. Is this a way? Rooten. Hold on. It's getting rooten. It's getting ruined. Is that clear? Yeah, like rooten tomatoes. It's getting rooten. Yep. Se está pudriendo. The avocado is getting rooted. Rooten. Me están siguiendo, no. Yes. Okay. So this is present continuous when you are transforming. For example, if I'm going to the gym, what happens? After three months of going to the gym every single day for three months, what happens? You tell you tell the person, right? You yes. 
Okay. You're getting. You're getting. No, you are getting. You are getting healthy. Okay. Okay, and you're getting healthy. You are getting in shape. <laughs> you're getting in shape. Okay. There you go. Yeah. There, you're getting in shape. Or okay. you're get you're getting okay. fit. Okay. Yeah, you're getting in shape. You're getting fit. Man, you're getting underweight. Very good. She's getting used to wake up early. Exactly. She is getting used to wake up early. The baby is getting used to wake up early. Okay, I'll send you these examples to your WhatsApp. Think about them. We're still missing one more form, which is in the past. In the past, how to use getting used to. I'm sorry, how to use used to, used to. Okay, let's go with the attendance. Let me get it. Where are you guys? <clears throat> My God, today is day 21, Thursday, 6th. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Selmi Chévez. Por ahí está Ana Selmi Chévez. Sí. Okay. Enciéndame la cámara, porfa, todos. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Edwin is not here today. Okay. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Excellent. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you, Gloria. Julia Patricia Vasquez Santos. Present. What happened to you? Come on. You cannot miss another day of class, please. It's important. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you, thank you. Ophelia Orellana Ars, I'm sorry, I'm not in. Uh, Ophelia? Here, teacher. Excellent. Pa Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Mm -hmm. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Hey, I can see you. <laughs> Emergency light. <laughs> Emergency light. That's good. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Perez. Stephanie is not here today again. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. She said she was not going to be here. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She's a listener tonight. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. Good. Bien, chicos. Eh, una observación antes de continuar. One, two, three, four. Really? We're only missing four classes. Solo cuatro clases más nos quedan. Y terminamos el miércoles 12 de octubre, señores. Hmm. Noviembre, diciembre, se acabó el 2022. El viernes tengo una cata de vinos y quesos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was invited. It's, it's from the church. Yeah, the, the priests, you know. Los sacerdotes han hecho eso, lo hacen todos los años y les ha quedado bien bonito. That's really good. Yeah, I'm not getting drunk. I just like wine. Do you like wine? Where is going to be, teacher? I yes, think it's in I Cristóbal know. Colón or something like that. I have the invitations there. But yeah, it's, it's like a huge event because my church is, is turning 64 years ever since they, they created that that place, you know, La Sagrada Familia. So it's been a long time. Okay, let's move on with topic. Do, do you like that topic? The 
used to? Are you getting it? Yes, teacher. Hey, I, I, I didn't hear you well, but when we have to use, uh, for example, now, mm -hmm. uh, el getting used. Oh, I, oh, I, when you are transforming, dejémoslo claro, cuando estás transicionando de un estado a otro. I'm getting fat, bah, the best example. Se me sale esa pedorilla, bah. I'm getting fat. Yeah. I'm getting old. Are we getting old? Okay, so here you will have to say something like that. This, este verbo lo que se está es transicionándote hacia ese estado. I'm getting fat. Me estoy poniendo gordo. Okay. So, I'm not, bitch. <laughs> I'm getting used to the weather. I'm getting used to the weather in Canada, in Toronto, let's say. Okay. I'm getting used to the weather in Toronto. Me estoy acostumbrando al clima en Toronto. Right? You're transitioning from. I get used to do learning English every day. I'm uh, getting used to. <laughs> you can do that. I'm getting used to learning English. I'm getting used to learning English. You can do that too. Okay. No, no use uh, with obtener. Mm. There. Let's see. Oh, no you mean use. you mean the meaning the meaning of getting is not obtener. No, exactly. Uh huh. So the main thing is like that, Sandra. Uh, get use to. Okay. This means acostumbrarse. Uh -huh. And in, in fact, in fact, teacher nos habla mucho inglés. I'm so sorry. You have to. Or I'm going to say, I'm so sorry. Get used to it. I'm so sorry. Get used to it. Good. Acostúmbrate. <laughs> and that's a saying. Okay. I'm getting used to get paid once a month. Oh, my God. I'm getting used to go. When, to get when no use, uh, that's for. Okay, we use this form to talk about habits. Lo ocupamos para hablar de hábitos, de cosas de las que nos estamos acostumbrando. Hábitos o costumbres. Okay. En presente simple, lo quiero dejar bien claro, en presente simple es más que todo hábitos que tenemos. Uh -huh. Como para decir, yo estoy acostumbrado y estoy hablando de un hábito que yo tengo ahorita. Estoy acostumbrado a levantarme a las cuatro, le decía. Estoy acostumbrado a, a rezar, a levantarme, por ejemplo. Estoy acostumbrado a no bañarme en las mañanas. I don't know, whatever. ¿Good? ¿Y what is it different, teacher? The, the means. The, the meaning. Uh, the meaning, sorry. The meaning, uh -huh. the I am used. To and I am getting used. Correcto, muy bien. Um, used to the weather. Used. I can't find it too. Okay. Like this. Okay. I'm getting used to the weather in Toronto. Me estoy acostumbrando al clima de Toronto. Es como decir me estoy aclimatizando. Um, en proceso, teacher. Y ahora, ajá, en proceso, eso es transformando en una transición. Me estoy acomodando, estoy aclimatando, me sería ahí en traducido. I'm me estoy used... acostumbrando a. Exacto, me estoy acostumbrando. Hey, me estoy acostumbrando a verte. Okay. I'm getting used to see you. Okay. okay. I'm getting used to see you. A un nuevo amigo que todos los días lo encontrás en el mismo lugar. ¿verdad? Ok. Ahora bien, I'm used to the weather in Toronto. Yo estoy acostumbrado al clima en Toronto. Es decir, yo ya estoy aclimatado. Okay. Right? Ahí sí. Yeah. Ahora bien, when I was a kid, 
Vamos al pasado. Es lo mejor que podemos hacer, contrastar los tiempos. When I was a kid, I used, um, I used to love Toronto's weather. Now, no. No, nah. but not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to love Toronto, Toronto's weather, but not anymore. I mean, weather has changed so much. So, and this this form is very used in the past. Uh, I used to play with my friends uh, great games okay, games like um, hide and seek trompo whatever right <laughs> right okay uh, we used to go cycling we used to go swimming to the lake. I mean, things, listen, things used to be, used to be uh, calmer in my neighborhood. Correct me if I'm missing the T there. I don't, I always make this mistake. Nate, Nate, no, 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 neighborhood, okay. In my neighborhood, things used to be cal calmer. Oh my God, calmer in my neighborhood. Um, there used to be no harm, no danger. There used to be no danger, like no gang members, right? No bolitos chucos en las esquinas, right, etc. So it was another time, right? So if I ask you, how was your neighborhood when you were a kid? Who can answer that question for me? In other words, describe your childhood neighborhood. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm misspelling this word. No, 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 that's the way. Okay, describe your neighbor, your childhood neighborhood. Why, why am I making you this question? I, I just saw a post on Twitter from one of the Nuevas Ideas politicians and they, they, they played a video of my 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 basketball field called El Palmar, you know, in Palmar, El Redondel, El Palmar, in Santa Ana. So I used to I used to play there every night, man. At this time, 8 30, 8 30 p.m. I was playing basketball with my friends. Did you play time. there, teacher? Yeah, for a long time. I went every to, night. I I I used to yo solía ir. I used yeah. to go. I used to oh, go. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Yes, I used to go to play soccer in the next next the uh, basketball camp. There next are next to the basketball yes. field. Field. Basketball there court. Are, mm -hmm. Yes. There are a uh, cancha cancha de fútbol. Football. There are soccer there fields. Are soccer field. Yes. But I, we went with my with my my oldest oldest child. We used to go with my oldest kid, my oldest, my oldest kid, child. My, 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 my brother-in-law, well, but, it, but it that, that's nice. when, when, when there was just one soccer field, it was a, a one thing, you know, now there are like two, Yes. right? They split that and, and it was all dust. It was all dust. It wasn't, yes. it wasn't ground, you know, like ground. It was dust. A lot of dust. Man, that they, they used to play very good, very yes. good mascones over there. But yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. My father. Say, uh, uh, will you repeat this word? <laughs> there used to be good masconis, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very good matches. There, there used to be very good matches in, in that soccer field. My father used to cut mangoes from the trees, ah, the yeah, mango trees. Delicious. Yeah, he used to sell delicious. sell those mangoes. It was amazing. Okay, so describe your childhood neighborhood. Oh, I used to live in Colonia Tarara. It was a great place when we were kids. You know, I have good memories. I remember we used to, we used to, I used to. You got it? So we're using simple past. I used to eat just the way Wilfredo did right now. I used to go, I used to play, I used to go to see what they walk from time to time. Okay. Hold on. Mm, this is the question. Okay, so there you go. This is the question. Let's answer. Describe your childhood neighborhood. I will select some of you to come to the front and answer this question for the whole class, okay? Okay, let's go. Describe your childhood neighborhood to your classmates. Hey, Gabriel, welcome back. Are you there? Hello, sir. Yes, I am here. Nice to have you back. It's everything all right? Yeah, a lot of work. I guessed. Yeah, I knew it. Well, it's good to have you back. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's answer that question together. Let's go. Yes, I know. Okay. okay. Uh, I what do is not understand the instruction the teacher and I don't know. Uh, I understood that we must describe uh, your childhood. Neighbor. Who would? Neighbor. <laughs> Neighbor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the, this is the activity or no? Yes. Just talk. Just uh, have a conversation. Where Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Ada Patricia in San Salvador, Santa Tecla, or? Excuse me, teacher, I don't understand. Where did you grow up? In San Salvador, in Santa Tecla. In San Salvador. In San Salvador. What was the neighborhood's name? For example, I, I grew up in El Palmar, in Santa Ana. Did, did you grow up? Did you grow up in San Salvador? In La Matepec, or or what's the name? What was the name of your neighborhood? Teacher, disculpe. Grow up y crecer. Exactly. Okay, and in, in I I am grew up in San Salvador. I grew up in San Salvador. Yes. Okay, where Mexicanos or um. San Salvador, teacher. San Salvador. But San Salvador, yes. Okay, so how was your neighborhood? ¿Cómo era, cómo era tu comun, tu... Oh, my God. <laughs> Help, Gabriela. How, how was your, your... Neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, but what's how? What's the meaning of neighborhood in Spanish? Vecindario. Tu vecindario, yeah. 
como era su vecindario, era tranquilo, jugábamos toda la tarde, todo el día, sin peligro, right? So, para decir eso, voy a decir, solíamos, y ese solíamos es used to. Si digo, I used to, yo solía. We used to, solíamos. Y luego agrego un verbo base. We used to play, we used to go, share. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, how, how was your childhood? In my, in, in my neighborhood. Your neighborhood or your childhood? Mm, uh, I play it. Uh, yes, in the, in the street. street? Uh -huh. yeah. And I remember play it me. Um, or la, la uh, play in the bicycle yeah and uh, the bicycle in ay, in a rea and how to say rea um ay, 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 juegos mecánicos ay, no, no 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 en la ah. rueda de la bici ah the wheel. I put, the wheel. Uh, uh -huh, I put the bottle the proxy yes yes uh -huh, uh -huh, for, when uh, you're riding the bicycle, they make a, a sound. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> a whole motorcycle. This. Yes. <laughs> baseball. I I I play at baseball. And the uh, base. Yes. The base that the the play. Uh, I remember of uh, use you said um piedras. Yes, <laughs> oh, carton. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, yes, yes. Interesting. Very nice. it, is, it, it is so different that uh, right now the, the, the children, it is another, another, another uh, way to play because they are only, I can, I can see my, my children. They play only in their in their cell phone. Cell phone, uh -huh. or I, computer, or play. Yeah. No. I try to 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 teach teach them uh, to play trompo, chivola. Because my was a child, it is. Yo yo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I I I try with my children and uh, play 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 games and yeah. for example soccer mica escondelero uh, yeah. yes yes is is best las la matas de huerta también <laughs> <laughs> no sé si jugaban eso que decía ah, no, sé decía, de decía, de decía, no había uno que decía decía no, las siete varitas para que decía, como que decía, bueno, tú un corito era. Es, buena, está ni a fulano. No. Entonces no me acuerdo, como se me olvida, tal vez me recuerdo otro momento. Bueno, era vendía aceite o. No me recuerdo cómo se. A una que decía, a ver, a Doña vendía otra vez. Y decía el corito de Doña Ana, Ana está, no está aquí, estará, estará en el sur, el... abriendo, vamos a cerrar. ¿Dónde está Doña Ana? Oh my God, ya estamos viejos. Ay, no. Yes. <laughs> no. Plastic pipe, and you put a globe inside, uh, out of them, and used to, you, you used to use like a gun. We call it a uh, cachamplaca. And you, you put inside a bean and you used to throw it to another, to your opponent. Um, I remember that uh, this month in October, at that uh, uh, time used to be a little cold. So we, we run, we uh, ride bicycle, we uh, 
start raised, started to, to raise. And I used to watch cartoons uh, at home. Uh, I remember that I, that I used to love this month because it, it mean it meaning that the year scholarship is going to end. So also Christmas was near and, and everything. Um, let me think what else. Um, ah, I used to, to flew, fly, flew on a kite. Oh yes, I never, I I never learned how to fly a, a kite. <laughs> you yeah. know, all the time I, I, it was a a frustrating dream because I I would like to, but I never, I really? never, yeah. <laughs> okay. All my friends uh, do it, but I only see. <laughs> okay, and uh, what else? I think that. That's all that, that I that I used to I used to to do when I was a child. In fact, yeah. my neighbor my neighbor was was uh, quite. Uh, we got it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the, the problem I I I want to mention. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is the problem, but the rest. Yeah. With the typical food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the typical food in the afternoon, but too I like the uh, coffee with sweet bread. But for me, this is a terrific because I get fat quickly. Yeah, every day I, every day, Carlita, do you eat this sweet bread? With coffee. Yes. yes. It's very complicated because my husband, my husband don't help me with this temptation. Doesn't. Uh, ah, doesn't. With, uh, with, mm -hmm. with this temptation. <laughs> that is part of the life. The ah, food yes. is delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, the big problem is that uh, uh, nearby there are a San Martin bakery, and and sometimes, well, sometimes no, three four days per week, uh, my husband go to the coffee at the San Martin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Italita. Okay. It's very complicated. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's delicious. Yes. It is when I have um a wish to eat uh, anything or uh, any food. I mm -hmm. I try to to eat. Yes. In my case, I wish always my coffee with sweet bread. For example, uh, uh, near nearby neighborhood, yesterday she was baked, she did bake in, um, in, in uh, I, uh, I, las cositas esas de, de, de chocolate, uh, brownie. Uh, <laughs> yes, and, and she she come here uh, to offer the brownie. I I did buy five uh, brownies. I I ate three portion in one day. Nice, bad fish no for me. I remember. I remember in my. Uh, in my neighborhood, in the childhood, uh, during the childhood, I remember that the I uh, my family 
um, used to eat tamales, sugar tamales, mm -hmm. every Sunday. But really? the special, special, special sugar tamales. Uh, uh, in, 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 for me, this like tamales. No. Uh, the all kind of tamales? Uh, no. No, no. Nothing, nothing. Uh, I eat tamales, but doesn't like it. I am I used to eat tamales. To I, I, I'm used to. I'm used to. Eat tamales. No, suele, no, no. Suelo comer tamales. No, como, pero, como no, puedo no decir. Suele. Me ah. como los tamales, pero no me gustan. O sea, a veces por no despreciarle a la gente, porque me da pena. <laughs> pero no I, I don't gusta. like tamales. I'm used to pero... say yes when, just for respect for to the others, right? Respecting the others. <laughs> I do the same with tamales de lote. I don't. I don't like them. I have to be in the mood. Ni no. fry, ni fry tamales de lote, teacher. I don't like them. <laughs> okay. And you more. are my, my team teacher. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I know. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's, thank you, Carlita. Thank you, Naselmi. No me voy a invitar a tamales que no me gustan. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> man, it was difficult to find this this vocabulary. I, I couldn't remember who who created this because I had the image on my brain, and it was the Cambridge University Press, Dutch Bowl. How how do you call how do you call Dutch Bowl in Salvadorian? Dutch Bowl? Look at your WhatsApp, Dutch Bowl. Isn't it uh, Mika, right? Mika Pelota. Guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Dutch ball. Next one. Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Yeah, you were, you were, you were like twelve years old, and you wanted to play hide and seek, right? Mm. <laughs> with the with la vecinita yeah. si no juega Ana no juego yo mm. okay <laughs> hide and seek leapfrog I don't remember playing leapfrog oh, that's that games for a, for a girl like me what's her rule <laughs> oh my god my nails <laughs> Yeah, on my hair. <laughs> really? My, pony my ponytails. <laughs> okay. I don't remember playing that. I remember Arranca Cebolla. I don't know how to, to say that. Nuts and crosses. Tic tac toe. Yeah. It was very entertaining. <laughs> entertaining, yeah. 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 Hopscotch. I love it. Peregrina. Peregrina, right? Yes. Right. This, is, Jack? this is from Jack? Spain. Jax. Jax. Jack. Mm -hmm. Blind man's buff. Blind man's buff. And th there's many, actually. Um, let me see. Ule teacher. How do you say Ule in English? What? Ule. 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 Gum. A gum. Gum. Mm -hmm. Candy similar to candy. 
Yeah, it's the same writing. That is correct. Gum, gum, chicle, goma. Yeah. Borrador para los británicos is gum. That's gum. The race. Man, I wanted to can find. We say, can we say jump in the rope? Jump the rope. Jump the rope. Jump the rope. Okay. Yep. Jump the rope. Okay. So I need someone to tell me. Answer the question. Describe your childhood neighborhood. How was your childhood neighborhood when you were a kid? A volunteer? Me teacher. Okay, Walter. Tell us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember uh, and it was it was very beautiful <laughs> and those in time. And my partner and me are talking about the case was before the ladron librado, pica, trompo, piscuchas, barita de liston, and and could be how do you say barrios? Barrios? Your, your other neighborhoods or este, ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, like other uh, other neighborhoods, otros barrios. Other neighbors, yes, another okay. neighbor, another neighbors is uh uh at the games. Era lo mismo. <laughs> it was the same. Yes, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It, it was I, beautiful. I remember it. I see, see what a beautiful. I remember it. Okay. Okay, let's see, Walter. It was very beautiful in those is time. It was very, it was very beautiful in those times. Those times. To say that you can say back then, as I told you before, right? It was very beautiful back then. And my father used to tell me about the games. He used to play, right? And you describe the games. Okay, yeah? teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good. Select someone, Walter. Choose somebody. Ah, okay, my friend, Wilfredo. <laughs> oh my God, the standard <laughs> in the moment. Okay, and uh, Rose. Rose Elena. Yes, yes, Rose. <laughs> Come on, Rose Elena. She was like, Why? Are you talking Why to me? me? Why are me? you talking to me? Okay, go ahead. I miss me. <laughs> where where did you grow oh up? Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I grew up in Colonia Satanic. Uh, for 25 years in Colonia Sacamil. What? Was, where? Uh, yeah, 25 where? years. No, where? What was the name of where? your neighborhood? Oh, Colonia Sacamil. But my neighborhood. What was it close to? Um, why not? Oh my God. Um, were you close to, to PNC? Were you close to La Rosario or close to the mall, Sacamil Mall? You know Los Alamos? No. Mm, yeah, near social security, seguro social, behind near... the seguro social. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I live in a building in the fourth floor. Yeah. In the four, fourth floor. Uh -huh. yeah. In the apartment complex. In the apartments, yeah. In the apartment complex, yes. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was it was an amazing uh, season. Yeah. Can I say season? Mm. No. Time. It's amazing child. Yeah. Time we of my to, life. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We used to also in this time. Uh, when October comes, we used to uh, we used to play every afternoon 
baseball. We play basketball. We used to play basketball in the morning uh, at 5 a.m. All my friends uh, go to, uh, uh, no, go. All my friends and I uh, play basketball at 5 a.m. And in the afternoon also, we ride bikes. Yeah. Road. We used to ride bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we used to we used to play um, hide and seek. Yeah, when we were thirteen. <laughs> mm. At night. At night. Yeah. <laughs> we we play. We used to play hide and seek. It was. It was. Oh my God. It was a uh, an special moments from our lives. Uh, mm. We enjoy watching cartoons, the cartoons also on December, all the, the frosty, the snowmen. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. When we, when in, in Channel 4, Gente Chica. Gente Chica, <laughs> Yeah, Gente Chica. <laughs> we used to, we used to watch TV and then we talk about the, the cartoons. Yeah, we used to do many, many fabulous things. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Gabriel, Gabriel is saying, oh my God, we're so old. And it's <laughs> true. Yesterday, when I finished the class, when we finished the class, I, I stood, because I have to upload the video on YouTube, right? So I have to wait like 10 minutes or something. And I was watching some videos from old commercials, old ads of El Salvador. Because I oh because I, somebody mentioned two days ago somebody mentioned the guy from Margarita Mirasol what was yeah, it Pedro Luntado Pedro Luntado so I was like <laughs> what I, I didn't I don't remember that guy but but I found some commercials that I used yeah. to watch when I was a kid uh, Willy Maldonado and La, La Milagrosa La yeah. what was it yeah yeah <laughs> man wow. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, childhood moments. So are we millennials or are we baby boomers or do we belong to the X generation? I belong to the X generation. Yeah, most yeah. of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the Gabriel is true. Okay, yeah, we, we, can, we, we agree we agree that most of us belong to the X generation. It's a combination. It's a combination, yes, a combination. okay? Yeah. yeah, because we grew up with technology as well. Yes. Hopefully you can enter that link that I sent you on WhatsApp. Can you tell me, somebody? Can you try opening that link of that Facebook link? I found what I wanted to give you. It's a whole list of images with vocabulary. I the, can't teacher. I can open it. It's it's you need to be you need to be logged into Facebook. You need oh, to have okay. Facebook on the computer or device. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, Adriana? It it worked. Okay, so I'm just gonna send you a snapshot of this because this is amazing. I mean, les voy a enviar un, un, un recorte nada más de lo que quiero que vean. Después, eh, eso solo es ayuda para ustedes en su tiempo libre lo pueden ver. Pero man, hay tantas imágenes ahí del Cambridge Institute. I don't know how to pronounce this. Alcachofa, art, artichoke. Oh, I knew I knew this one. How do you say berenjen in English? Eggplant. Egg, <laughs> Eggplant. Okay. How do you say guisante? Peas. Peas. I had like peas. <laughs> Pumpkin. Radish. What is radish? Radish. 
ano? Sabana. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, you're they're watching the image. Okay. No, no. No, teacher. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. I know. Okay. <laughs> Green beans, judías verdes, green beans. Man, there's so much vocabulary. There's one about the bike, parts of the bike, parts of a vehicle, the windscreen, the roof rack, steering wheel, the boot, the door. Man, oh, I hope you can see it. I hope you can see it. There are too many. Okay. And among those, you will find the, the games that I send you, I think, and so on. Okay. So let's move on before we continue really quick, really quick, believe it or not, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Anacel Micheves. Present teacher. Gracias. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. <laughs> not here tonight. Okay, Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gabriel Alejandra González Flores. Present. Ah, Patricia, le podemos escuchar. <laughs> okay, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. There she is. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Julia, Present. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Good teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening. Present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. No. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Susana said she was going to be here tonight. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. She's in an emergency. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let's move on. So, next stage of this class. Let me send, let me present to you some vocabulary. Necesito que sepan interactuar entre sus ventanas de Zoom y un buscador de Google. ¿Podemos hacer eso? ¿Se preparan? Sí. ¿Saben cómo saltar entre ventanas, entre aplicaciones en su celular, si están desde el celular y no tienen otro dispositivo? Generational gap. Aquí está el vacío generacional. No, pero créanme, ustedes son bien abusados con la tecnología, pero he tenido casos de personas que jóvenes, jóvenes y no no saben cómo hacer esas cosas que aparentemente, bueno, uno considera que son sencillas. Pero nunca le ha dicho a alguien, salite y volver a entrar. <risa> ¿Cómo? Yo tengo un compañero que se me dijeron y le digo, llego por el positivo, no, no me, y no me dijiste que me saliera y que volviera a entrar. No, ¿sabes qué me pasó en, en Dell? So, dando soporte técnico y en inglés a una viejita. Ok. So, let's close the window. <laughs> oh, the window is closed. Oh, it's closed. Okay. Let's open it again. But it's too cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> on your computer. Oh, what, what, yeah. what window? There's no window on the computer. Oh, just a little chart, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. It was difficult. But yeah, she was serious. It was a long It's time happened. ago. Yep, yep. Okay, so if you're ready, help me. Let's find out about these definitions. I don't know why they changed this thing. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let me go back to page one before I share the screen with you. There we go. Okay. So if you know the answer, just go ahead and say it, okay? If you know the answer, just say it. So a group of individuals, most of whom are the same approximate age, as está mal escrito, approximate age, having similar ideas, problems, attitudes, etc. I, and I said, etc. What is it? What is it? Huh? Example? No, no, no. PG? You have to give me the definition for this concept. That was my voice. Okay. Generation. Hey, good. Generation. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, that's a generation, a group of people with the same thoughts, you know, the same ideas. That's a generation. Come on, everybody. The generation, who can help me reading? Anaceli, continue. The generation who grew up in the United States during the Great Depression and went on to fight in World War II. The generation grew up traditional values and listen to the radio for entertainment. Oh, baby my. boomers. Uh -huh, baby boomers. Baby, baby boomers. boomers? Yeah, I think. <laughs> Google it. Google it. Okay. okay. Meanwhile, and Anaselmi, uh, depression, went on to fight with World War II. Difficult. War. World. 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 War. War. Two. World War II. World War II. Good. Uh, grew up. Grew up. Grew up. There you go. Grew this generation up. grew up with traditional values. Yeah, teacher. With traditional and, values. And listened to the radio. Radio. For entertainment. For entertainment. Oh, we hear is radio gaga. For me, the boomers. Yeah, the boomers. <laughs> radio boomers. Yes. Okay. Baby boomers? Yes. Let's see. The greatest generation, are they called the baby boomers too? No. Mm. The greatest generation, I, I think they are prior to the baby boomers because baby boomers did have TV. They had TV. They actually had, I don't know, I think they had BCRs, uh, BHS producers. Mm. I don't know. We will find out in a minute. But for now, the greatest generation. Let's see. Next. Rosalena. Hey, this generation fought in the Korean War and experienced the Cold War. This generation is silent because not many drifted away from social norms. Rock and, rock and roll and television became popular during this generation. Oh my God. The rock and roll became... Now, of course, think about rock and roll, not like, I don't know, like Motley Crue or ACDC. <laughs> no, this, this was rock Elvis and roll. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley, the first rock and roll that you could dance. You Billy, know? Billy, Bill Halley and the Comets. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a> very... <No. laughs> there was a reference from a long time ago brought to you by <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> okay so what is it what generation is it oh, hey, hey meanwhile this is baby boomer baby boomer yeah mm, what do you I'm think guys uh, silent generation. Good job, Gabriel. Yes, the silent generation. It there's a clue. It's silent because <laughs> now listen, not 
many drift away. That uh -huh. many drift Silence. away, drift away, drift away from social norms. So remember what we talked about before? If their father said, you have to be a lawyer, yeah, I, I am a lawyer. You have to be the man of the house, man. Machism grew up in this generation, silent generation. Okay, this generation, Gabriel, continue. This generation was born post World War II and grew up during the civil rights movement and the Vietnam War. This generation was comprised of an individualistic and innovate youth culture. Good job, innovative. Innovative youth culture. Culture, 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 culture. The culture club. Come, 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 and go. Uh huh. What's the the generation? By the way, George, Mike, George. Baby boomers. Who was that guy? Boy George. Boy George is a is is part of this of this generation. Wilfredo says baby boomers. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, baby boomer. Yeah. Hey, hey. Good. After, ba after baby the second war. After the second war. Let's see. This generation was born post, post World War Two, not during, but post World War Two, and grew up during the civil rights movement and the Vietnam War. Man, can you imagine? living in the United States during these decades. Oh my God. Teacher, I was reading about this generation mm -hmm. and according to the reading after post-war, mm -hmm. they they get uh, some different condition to get, uh, for example, car, uh, 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 buy, buy a car or get, uh, for example, they have a, more possibility to get, uh, for example, houses, cars. Wait, wait, wait. Do you mean that they had more rights or they had like better conditions to get a car to loan a house? Yes. Yes? Mm. That's, that's, yes, that's I unusual. Do. That's unusual because after the Second World War, I mean, there was a, a depression, right? Yes. Hmm. But but after, um, I, let, let me see how I can say you, how I can say you. Okay. After, tell after tell when you. when when the when this conflict finished, mm -hmm. when um, the conflict and, finished, yes, and the United States, I I, I remember I, I was reading that uh, there. Hubo, there were. There was. Mm -hmm. There was um, the, the depression or, or economic. So, so when there is a depression, and Gabriel can teach us maybe a little bit about this, when there's a depression, economy goes down and everything is cheaper because the market is in depression, right? So houses are cheaper, cars are cheaper, I guess. That happened recently as well. And I, I guess that's your point, Wilfredo. I think that that's what you're trying to say. They had better or, or flexible contracts, I guess. Wilfredo, would you continue? Of course. This generation was born after the Western Post World War II baby boom. They learned independence at an early age as parents, longer hours, and divorce was common. Oh my God, that's our generation. Let's see. Um, help me with that. Let's see. They learned. They learned. Mm -hmm. Independence. Independence. Now, do you do this together? At, uh, an, at an early age. At an early age. At an early age. No cerres la boca. Así. Good, good. At an early age. At an early age. There you go. Uh -huh. Hey, the <laughs> word, the word, parents, parents, todos, todos, parents. 
Don't say parents, okay, guys? Parents, parents. Pa parents, parents, parents. 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 Right. No parents. No parents, parents. right? Parents. My Man, parents. Like, my parents, my parents were straight. My parents, my parents were teacher, straight. Teacher. And when we say partner, for example. My partners? Partner. That's different. Yeah, partners. Partner. Partners. Uh -huh. Hey, so what's the generation? Is it? What is it? Z generation. The Z? Nah. The X Men. <laughs> I mean, the X Generation. Come on, you didn't watch the X uh, the X Men with Wolverine and oh my God, really? Okay, let's go with the next one, Adita. This generation is growing up during the 90, 1980. No, no, no. Let's say 1980s. 1980s to early 200. 2000. This thousand, to how thousand. This generation is the most racially. Right, racially. racially listen, racially. racially Racially and, and ethnic, ethnically, ethnically diverse, they are highly educated, tech savvy, and optimistic. Good job, tech savvy and optimistic. And optimistic. and optimistic. Hey, listen to this. You may you may want to be part of this generation. What's the generation? Millennial teacher. <laughs> of course, millennial. <laughs> finally, finally. Yes, millennial. <laughs> yeah, hey, but I like the description. Yes, this generation is growing up during the 80s, I will have said, during the 80s to early 2000s. This generation is the most racially and ethnically diverse. They are highly educated, tech savvy, as a savvy solo lleva una V. Tech savvy and optimistic. Wow, I'm a millennial. <laughs> okay, now there are differences of outlook or opinion between the generations. Oh, this is we, we talked about this yesterday. What is the? How do you call these differences between outlook or opinion between generations? Gap. <laughs> Uh huh. Gap. What? Carla, say it. You know it. <laughs> yes, a generation Generic. gap. A generation gap. We we said it yesterday, right? Your grandparents asking you what you want to be whenever you get older. What year is the greatest generation? Let's learn. Let's learn because we, we don't know. What year is the greatest generation? Prior, prior to 1928. Oh my God. I have no, I have no, no greatest, great generation here, right? How old are they? They don't exist anymore. Maybe some of them, 90, 94? More than 94 years old, oh my God. Wow, greatest generation. What year is the silent generation then? Nineteen twenty-eight. After 1928, two, look. 1964, 1964, and they lived, they say, they said they lived the uh, civil war, civil war in the States, for example. Let's see, that's the silent generation. The baby boomers, baby boomers, think, think, 
1968, baby boomers. Uh-huh. Maybe 50. 196, oh, okay, from 1968 to, oh, well, 1946 to 1964, baby boomers, from 1946 to 1964. Why? They said post-World -World War II, right? And then the X generation by this goes from 1965 to 1980. That's the X generation. They were born. I'm an ex girl. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was born in 1917. 1917? Yeah. Yeah. No. 1917. <laughs> no, 1960. <laughs> yeah. Rosalina, be careful. 1917, 1917. Oh, no. 96. <laughs> oh, my God. 97. 70, 70, uh -huh, 1970. 70, yeah, 1970. Oh okay, God. 1970. Yeah, I'm old, but no, no soul. <laughs> Not so old. That's good. Yeah. Let's see. So you're from the, yeah, you are from the X generation. I mean, yeah. if, we, if we follow this chart, right, I will explain you that in a minute. In a minute. So what year are the millennials from then? Yeah, I think 1981. Two. Gabriel? 2000. 2000. And they st after 1980, but I agree with you, it's between 1980 and 2000, as we saw before. What's the greatest generation pop culture? What's the greatest generation pop culture? Let's see. Pop culture media. Pop culture media. Millennia. So, no, 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 no. This, this is. Um, the greatest generation pop culture. And then the answer is pop culture media, but they, what did they used to listen to in 1920s? The greatest generation before, wow. But During, culture is the 90s. Uh, no, no, no. 80s, I, 90s. I mean, what was popular in their culture? And they're saying pop culture media. Pop culture. Hmm. What was the greatest generation technology? What was their technology on the greatest generation? Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. So the previous one was media. And they're talking about generational gap, maybe. Yeah. Their generational gap. On the greatest generation, their gap was technology, radio. Let's see. What is the greatest generation characteristics? They were traditional. Now, the following are like very important characteristics. Like what, what is the main characteristic of each generation? So again, from the greatest generation, which was during or after World War I, 1918 and so on, um, they were traditional, right? Remember we talked about patriarchals, how the father used to rule the house, right? Machism and all that. What is the the silent generation's pop culture? Oh, they used to have big bands, rock and roll. You know what was famous? And I'm not sure, correct me please, but I think this is from the from the um from the silent generation as well. Uh, these black guys singing in the in the corners of the streets, a cappella. That's from the fifties, right? The the platters, polanka, all that. Sixties. Yeah, it was about the sixties, right? Yeah, about the sixties. Yes. Okay, so let's see. Continuing with the silent generation technology, what is the silent generation technology? Television. And silent generation is during Second World War. They used to watch black and white, black and white television, right? Black and white television. Okay. What is the silent generation's characteristic? Careerist. Careerist. 
having a career was like, wow, you went to the university. Wow, you're a doctor. Oh my God, my son is a lawyer. Hmm. Remember that back in these days during the silent generation, there were no surgeons. There's a movie with Cuba Downing Jr. Cuba Downing Jr. on Netflix called yeah. Gift, Gift, Gifted Hands. Yes. Gifted I Hands. I love it. I love it. The very first um, surgeon, uh, heart surgeon for kids. Oh, it was crazy. It was really shocking how he became um, a surgeon. What is the baby boomers pop culture? Rock and roll and youth culture. Baby boomers pop culture. What was it like? Wow, the boom. Rock and roll, Elvis Presley. What is the baby boomers characteristics? The main characteristics? Individualistic and innovative. Can somebody tell me why baby boomers were individualistic and innovative? Remember, we're moving from a patriarchal, right? From a chism. Then we have feminism, the industrial revolution, World War II is over. Now we have the cold war, baby boomers. Why will they be individualistic? Come on, think, think, think. Give me an answer. Innovative. Well, you had to take care of yourself, I guess, right? Get a career. I, I think that individualistic because I think, I think, mm -hmm. I think because um, in, oh my God, in, when they arrive, arrives, arrive to a determinate, determinate, determinate age, they, they decide to live alone, to move to the, to their parents, parents' house. <laughs> I, I totally agree with you. Actually, yeah. they they become um, they became more independent, In, independent because yeah. motherhood, motherhood, they don't pamper you. Mothers don't pamper yeah. you in reality. You know what is pampering, right? Yeah. Consentir, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. Uh, they don't pamper the kids. Yeah. You go dress yourself. Go take a shower. Go brush your teeth. And she's years two or three but years nowadays, old. Nowadays, forty years, and they live with the parents. That, that totally makes sense. Now, innovative, yeah. innovative, because many inventions came out during this season, during this uh, post World War II years. Uh, you heard about Henry Ford, right? The movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the Ford cars and all that. Okay. That may be. So what are Generation X pop culture? Let's see. MTV generation. <laughs> okay. We didn't start the fire. MTV generation. Was amazing. Maybe this is part of the best generation, you know, where everything started being wow. Awesome. What are the Generation X characteristics? Aha, <laughs> Rosalena. Let's see. Anti-institutionalist, anti-institutionalist, huh, no family, you know what, Rosalina, all we are saying, is give peace a chance, the Beatles, the Beatles changed the world with their idealistic world, you know, and this was part of it. They didn't. They didn't care about having a family, religion. John Lennon said it. John Lennon said it, and it was a culture because they were tired of all these wars, right? And the Vietnam War and all that. Oh my God! So no politics. What was Generation X important historical events? Let's see. 
The yeah, fall the of Berlin Wall, yeah. Yes. The fall of Berlin Wall. <laughs> Man, this this was this is like when when the world stopped, you know, the world stopped. Because this, this event, the fall of the Berlin Wall, also stopped with the, the war the Cold War. The Cold War. For some reason I remember that time. And the rise of the PC. The first iMac, uh, uh, IBM, IBM, yeah. Yeah, IBM. And so on. Oh my God, we went through everything. I'll send you this. <laughs> this is this is. I think this is like a resume of all uh, that we have seen so far and some other content. So, can you tell me what is the difference between the X generation then and the the millennials? So again, X generation goes from the 60s to the to the 80s, from the 60s to the 80s, and then we go from the 80s to the 2000s. So what are now that you know some historical events during these years? Um, because even though we 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 don't live in Germany or Europe, right? If you remember the fall of the burning of, of the wall the fall of the burning wall changed the world dramatically there was a new world order there was a new world order and then latin america went in conflict and we had our civil war many countries had their civil wars and we lived we grew up in the middle of wars on our end so Generation X, they experienced a lot of it's changes. The, mm -hmm. These Got are the, the X generation uh, saw the birth of the cell phone, the internet, the social media, and the millennials mm. born and grow, grow up uh, with with internet, with cell phone, with social media, is part of the every life. Is, every life. Do we agree on that? So Carla is saying that the X generation saw the birth, the birth of technology, and millennials grew up with this technology already. I kind of agree. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. What do you think, guys? Wilfredo, you're so quiet tonight, Adriana. The difference yes, I agree with Carlita. Mm -hmm. Did you grow up? Did you grow up? Grow up? Sorry. Did you grow up with technology? No. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Come on. Remember, when you were like 10 or 12 years old. I, I am going to... Say you when I start to start in the university, I remember I went to a centro de computo, and when I I remember when I I I used and my and the first time a uh, computer I remember the CPU, and <laughs> yes. when, the, when a classmate <laughs> start to to turn turn on, but I I didn't see what button they push and i we ha i had to <laughs> to wait that another classmate uh, turn on then hey wh what did you do oh, over there push here but i start to i remember in that in the spring uh, i i don't remember what kind of message the the screen don't forget don't forget that your, your we, we, used, we used to we used to insert the floppy disk <laughs> yes. yeah, to with the M M M S M S two yeah the, the oh. operative system to the there, computer yeah. work for the computer to work is true is yeah. true Man. insert your disk. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the eighth generation saw the development of the, 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 the office. <laughs> yes, the evolution of office. No, we saw it. 
we saw the evolution of office. I, I mean, I got your point, Carla. It was invented during the X generation. Mm -hmm. And actually somebody from the X generation, Bill Gates, he, he created Windows. he created Windows. He Windows, created yes. the software. But we, the millennials, experienced the evolution of the technology oh, yeah. drastically. Dramatically. Now, these guys, the Z generation, the next generation from 2000 to 2020, has experienced a faster evolution of, of technology. Think about it. Touch phones, touch screens. Yeah, imagine Bluetooth. When, when I have when I when I have when I need to when I need to oh my god. When I need to use internet in internet, I need to connect the modem to the, my my tel my telephone. You used to. Yeah. I used to connect the modem. Do you like, remember when the when, for example, the companies start to offer in the modem to get internet? Oh, you yeah. You have to, to. It is like a. A USB. 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 Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I remember when the first time I I bought this device, uh, my oldest kid, uh, he he pushed the the device. And yeah, then it was broken. I, I had to <laughs> buy another because that's Oh my work. God. Do you remember the uh, infrared? Excuse me? Do you remember infrared? I, I guess. You know, <laughs> Gabriel, do you remember transferring a file from one cell phone to another? It was like, no, 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 yes. no, no, no. Okay, don't move it. There you go. <laughs> so how's the family? Oh, they're good. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's over. Oh, no. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I remember I remember when I did my first e e email account was in hot, hot night. <laughs> Hotmail. Really? <laughs> yeah, Hotmail, yes. Hotmail. I, I, I have this account. <laughs> My first account is... You still have I it? Think, yes. <laughs> wow. It, yes. My principal account. How do you say the navigator? Nowadays, it's Google. The browser. The browser. What well, was the browser? I use, I use Alta Vista. Imagine. Alta Vista, like a browser. <laughs> oh, my God. Firefox. Yeah, Foxy, yeah. Fo Foxy, I can't yeah. remember. Most, it was a little Foxy. Yeah, but yeah, but I I remember. Oh my God, Alta Vista. Alta Vista. <laughs> that, that was crazy. Okay, guys. Yes. So, uh huh. See, it's the same in the the Osborne order browser is Yahoo. Yahoo, yeah. but Yahoo. Yahoo. Yes. Yahoo. Yeah. It yes. was part of it. Yeah, I can barely remember. I, I just remember my my uncle, who rest in peace. He, he he had money, you know, he was very smart. But now that I think of, I feel sorry for him because he went crazy with technology. He used to go to Curacao and get the latest cell phone, the flip phone, Alcatels, you know, and Motorola's flip phones. And also, he used to buy CDs, a lot of CDs, Earth, Wind, and Fire, uh, jazz, most of all. It was most of all jazz. He bought, he bought a, a, a console, a, um, a turning console, you know, where you could select what CD to, to listen next. He had a compact presario, a compact presario. It was really big. Man, and, and then things have evolved and he bought a, a compact CD player to have it on the on the pickup. You know, he inserted a cassette to listen to the CDs when he was driving. And then, boom, MP3. And he was like, <laughs> "Teacher, I remember. I remember in a nineteen ninety ninety nine ninety nine. 
start uh, that electronic ma magazine. And in this moment, I think who read in the computer? Now there are a jour a journalists in, in, in the web. Journals. Journals yes. on the internet. In the web. Yes. And first we had blogs, right? Blogs, blog, bloggers, bloggers became so popular. And then we had what? Influencers, and then YouTubers. Oh my God, that's crazy. I want to share one last thing with you um, about the differences, okay? The contrasting between the Gen X and the Y, X, uh, the y generation. Let's see, uh, a different concept of authority. Authority. Xers or the X generation view the boss as an expert. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but listen to this. Xers view the boss as an expert. By contrast, millennials think they can go in the office on the first day and talk to the CEO about what's on their mind. <laughs> so, okay, somebody from the X generation goes like, oh my God, the boss. Sir, good morning. How are you? Do you want a coffee? Are you okay? Awesome. <laughs> You're the best. You're the best. And instead, millennials go like, hey, what's up, boss? Right. Teacher, <laughs> teacher, in, uh -huh. in my company, I, I don't remember if I told you that as um, el, el, um, vice president, how do you say? Vice president? Vice, vice president. president. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but all de la región, Mexico, El Salvador, and Honduras. Mm -hmm. And he started as a manager in my plant i i talking uh, i'm talking about 20 years ago he started in that he he has been working in, in the company around 20 27 years for 27 he, years uh -huh. yeah, but he is he is es conocido he's known by mm -hmm. yes but uh, a co-worker, but he's millennial. When he went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. remember he was uh, washing his hand. Uh, when my co-worker entered, I go, hey, come down. <laughs> and I, or, another other co-worker told me, hey, man. Calmate, si él es el mero patrón, a ti no sabía. Pero <risa> me recuerdo que él solo le dijo, porque él le dijo, ah, ¿qué onda? Le dijo, oh, pero bien, tranquilo. So Cuando he's very estamos, nice, he's very sí. nice. Cuando empezó la reunión a la que íbamos, se quedaba, pero bien achicado. Y cuando terminó, le dijo, ahí va por morle. <risa> oh my God. Man, but that's too much. That's really too much. Man, and these kids today, these kids today, when I when I teach teenagers now, like 18, 20 years old, man, they go like that. They just get into the classroom, don't say good morning, good afternoon, hello, teacher, nothing. And then you try to make them work and they go like, uh-huh, but see what can I get can I go? You're like, oh my God, what, what, where's the respect, right? Okay, a different set of motivations. Exers was a very individualistic generation. As we said, Generation X lives to work while Generation Y works to live. Huh. Yeah, we just go to work because we want to live life, you know. We have multiple passions and it's more global than any of its predecessors. As 70% of them say, they would like to work abroad, as we spoke yesterday, over the course of their lives. I mean, do you want to see the world? Look at Nelson in San Francisco. Do you want to see the world? Because the world is big. You don't want to be sitting on the same chair all your life waiting to meet the boss one day. No, 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 we don't do that. A desire for a different sort of work environment. As we said yesterday, the Xers, let's see, 
tend to be more structured and punctual and linear. They're, they're square, I mean, the Xers. Um, we cannot be structured or linear. Um, and that 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 is a headache for Xers, you know, old people with all the respect, I don't know, but Xers are like, they, they hate us, they hate millennials because of this specific point. They, we don't want a work environment with specific rules. Okay, and that's it. So just wanted to show you that for a minute. And I'll send you that presentation. Después me esa presentación que les acabo de poner porque es bien interesante ver um, las diferencias entre ambas generaciones. Okay. Huh. So, lastly. Let, let's watch a video one last time, okay? I'll send you the link right now. And we are not going anywhere. Just watch the video here so we can discuss it tomorrow at the beginning of the class. Señores, mañana es viernes, pero el cuerpo no lo sabe, por favor. Tienen que estar acá, eh? So just, is, the video is like eight minutes. Let's watch it, pay attention, and then a pair of you just tell me what you think really quick, okay? Let's go. Big floppy disk and 20 kilobytes. Man.
Wow. Okay. Who's your superhero, Rosalina? <laughs> Who was your superhero, Wilfredo? My mom. <laughs> Come on. Uh, no. she, answer, she's next. She's next. She's next to you. She's good next to you right answer. now. Uh, oh, Say your mom. Yes. I grew up only with her. Really? Yes, and she has to go to Venezuela. She went to work uh, ten years. She bought uh, my first house. Then she went to United States to work too. But it is a good story. That's awesome. Well, but it's good. That's but an awesome. My, I, I, awesome I, I remember talking about cartoon. My my, my always uh, talking about many years ago. El Niño de Marte. What? I really? Iron Man Twenty Eight. Before. You mean before, Simon? Before, before Messenger. Messenger. <laughs> There was another guy in, in, in silver, Gabriel. Do you remember this superhero? <laughs> this this Japanese superhero, Sayaman um, or was, oh. Ultraman. Ultraman, right? yes. It's true. <laughs> Ultraman Hobby. was my hero teacher. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, bueno, la clase terminó. Hey. <laughs> Nos llegaban tarde las caricaturas al Salvador, señor. ¿Qué podíamos hacer? <risa> 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 yeah, that's right. I, I, me identifiqué con la educación, eh, la generación baby boomer, porque había Winnie Pooh ahí. <risa> y no me acuerdo quién más. Bugs like, Bunny. Bugs Bunny. Yo veía <risa> todo eso. I was like, wait a minute. <risa> uh, Carica caricaturas animadas de ayer y hoy. Oh, presenta. Metro Golding Mayor. Metro Golding Mayor. <risa> Al final me sentí que soy una combinación de todas las generaciones. Y perdido con la, con la alfa, ¿verdad? Yo solo sí. decir que, que lo triste es que ya las últimas generaciones ni por cerca los ídolos y las... Y Ajá, los, yo me perdí, no, no sé. Y lo preocupante, China's domination. Ajá. Uh, ok. Interesante para volverlo a ver. Bueno, chicos, time's over. Uh, we'll talk about this tomorrow whenever we come back. Um, hmm. Hmm. Who's staying tonight? Gabriel, do you have 10 minutes? Is that okay? Yeah. We have never had, I, I think, a meeting for 10 minutes. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Thank you. Good night. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Se pueden ir desconectando si lo desean. Ya cumplimos las dos horas. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Good night. Good night. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Good night. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Okay. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening. Present. Thank you. Bye, Good night, Pame. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good night. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. No. Okay. Sandra, Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good night. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow, guys. Good evening. See you tomorrow. There we go. Hey, so what's up? How are you, Gabriel? Uh, a little tighter. 
what happened to you? A lot of work? Yeah. The the thing is that I leave the country this Sunday and I we out 15 days. Two Wait, weeks. You you left the country or are you living this coming I leave the country this Sunday? You're living, okay. Yeah. For 15 days. Yeah, exactly two weeks. Hmm. That's awesome. That's really good. Are you going to the States or another country? No, another country. Okay, good. Good, yeah. good. So you're ready. We are working in a energy project. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. I was reading the news that El Salvador is exporting electricity. Yeah, exactly. And and from the UK is is in a is participating in a licitation. Okay, so in a bit. And all and all and all the paperwork. Mm -hmm. Ready for the dates that that is that they're going to deliver to the Lajeo. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, that's great news. I'm I'm expecting something like that by the end of this month to go to Qatar, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know. Who knows? So, uh, but do they speak English in that country where they're where you're going when everybody speaks English, right? As a second language. Yeah. In fact, we are going to gather with, with a lawyer from the United States. So the whole the whole two weeks, I will have to speak in English and <laughs> document in English. So oh, documents. Hey, you know what? There is a tool on on the Google Translator. You can take a picture of the legal document. And uh, uh, yes, I think. Yeah. In case you need it, and I'm telling you this because I I've worked uh, translating. That's the word translating legal documents i have translate legal documents and it's not easy it's nope. complicated yeah. but and you need somebody in your case you have the experience you have the terminology in spanish so if you find a similar word in me you'll get it yeah i know and in fact in the in the firm i i, I think i i told you that i i'm in charge of the translation division. So I have to check the translation that had done by the technicians. Yeah, so I have to read it in Spanish and English. So that's a way that I can practice sometimes the legal terms. Awesome. Hey, <laughs> but you're doing very good, actually. You're doing very good. <laughs> I'm trying. And did these two weeks are going to help you a lot? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like a little stressful because I never left my home too many days. Hmm. Obviously, my little daughter will she will miss me. Do you have a daughter? How old is she? Eight. Eight years old. Oh my god! And she's unique. No, I had a a, a boy, and he's twenty. He's going to be twenty this this month. Twenty. Yeah. Really. Yeah, such so a difference. I'm a millennial, my son is a Z generation, and my <laughs> alpha, so it's a mix. Oh my god! Uh, hey, but you know what? That was very accurate because I have an eight-year-old as well. Well, she's seven. She's seven, but she's very smart. I mean, mm -hmm. she's very logical. Yeah, and she loves to read, study, uh, coloring, drawing. She okay. learned. She learned. Uh, to use the bicycle by herself. She rides the bicycle because she learned. Wow. I wow. did nothing. I mean, she practiced. She fell once. Mm -hmm. And I was just, I always observed her, right? But she she thought. And I remember that moment. I saw her on the street and she noticed that on the on the sidewalk there mm -hmm. was a little a little curve like this. So mm -hmm. I noticed she she went backwards. You know, mm -hmm. she went backwards on that little sidewalk and then she let her go. Okay. And she maintained the equilibrium, you know, and then there she goes. And that yeah. was it. And two weeks later, she taught her elder, her older brother. 
Xavier, Xavier is like 10 years old. He's 10 years old and she taught him to ride a bicycle. <laughs> okay. Wow, amazing. Yeah, my little daughter loved to draw, to paint. Uh, she loved to dance. Also, stories? Yeah. Stories, I think. Yeah. And also she, she learned English uh, viewing videos. Uh, actually, she learned like the colors, the numbers. Watching, watching videos, really? Yeah. Wow. Have you ever seen uh, movies like Totoro? No, I think Totoro, no. Totoro, that's a Japanese uh, movie. They're all in Netflix. Totoro, El Castillo Volador. Okay. Uh, Old's Flying Castle. Old's Flying Castle. Those are beautiful stories. My daughter is in love with Totoro. It's, it's a, a gray animal, you know, it's a big animal. It's a nice story, a beautiful story. Okay, my daughter loves uh, Caballero del Zodíaco. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. yeah. That's uh, because you watched it. Yeah, exactly. In <laughs> fact, my, my daughter is is very similar uh, to me. She looks like more than my older son. No, of course, because she's a baby. I mean, she's a girl. Girls look like their oh. their father. Look at my profile picture on, on WhatsApp. It's the same thing. I mean, my two yeah. boys, my two boys are just like my, my wife, you know, they look alike with my wife, but but the daughter, my daughter is just like me. Same. Yeah, but, but the thing is that she loves or she likes all almost the whole thing that I liked. Obviously, uh, because uh, when when she was a little uh, when she was little we used to watch some uh cartoons for example on disney disney channel it's it, they upload the uh, chip and dale rescue rangers I don't oh know. my god yes i know okay. i used to watch that monterey jack <laughs> uh, darwin duck and we watch uh, the Flintstones and everything. So I think that kind of cartoon are more values and they have more uh, uh, drama, drama or, or- It's just the approach they used when we were kids was okay. not so uh, straight, you know, mm -hmm. because man, every single series now, nowadays from nowadays from Netflix, has mm -hmm. has the other thing involved you know yeah, i was exactly. I, I was watching glitch on netflix some yeah. people come back to life you know they were dead and then mm -hmm. they came back to life it was a beautiful series but then one of the main characters starts kissing a guy and i'm like oh no really so yeah she also loved but she also likes movies uh, for example rambo <laughs> Rambo? What? Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Action, action movies. Yeah. Action mm. movies. Uh, she mm. also, I, I love one movie for Christmas, and I and I always in December I watch it over and over again, and it is The Grinch, but with Jim Carrey. With Jim Carrey, right? Exactly. So she loved that movie. You remember the original cartoon movie of Yeah? yeah I prefer I, I prefer that one. And the Chica, I think. Uh huh. And what about Pinocchio from 1922? I don't like that movie. You don't like that no, Pinocchio, I... but but the original cartoon. Yeah. In fact, I don't like that kind of cartoon from Disney from that mm -hmm. age because mm -hmm. um, they for me it was a little it's, it's stressful or traumatic because they used to uh, hurt animals like. Yeah like Dumbo, they hurt the, the parents, the little elephant would separate from the mother. Pinocchio, when he turns on a donkey, he was, he was hurt too. Mistreated, so, yes, he was mistreated. Uh, You're right, I never thought about that. So for me, it was, no, I don't like that, that people hurt animals. Violence. I like that, so I don't like that kind of movies. You're totally right. Well, I wish you good luck. You have good English level at this point. I hope you can do things right, you know, for these two weeks. And don't worry. I mean, your family is going to be all right. 
I'm sure your wife and everybody is very happy because you're traveling these two weeks. Yeah, it also can be three weeks. I don't know because we have to check 188 companies. My so God. it's a lot of work. And also I come back and I have to leave the country again, but for a personal uh, person trip to the United States. Awesome. So, and the, the thing is that 23rd and 24th of October is the, my, the birthday of my older uh, son and my wife. So. You have to be here. <laughs> hey, once in a lifetime, you know. Yeah, I know. That, that what my, my son told me. Don't worry, dad. We are going to live another birthday, but you have to work. So for me, it's, it's and okay. thank God, thank God, you have a great job. So yeah, exactly. Take advantage of it. Well, good luck, buddy. Hope you have a, a wonderful trip. Thank you very much. I will let you know how is the thing is going on. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah. Good night. Good night too. Bye bye.